Hello! A new quest is available! Really? What quest? It's the tutorial on Renpai Inventory! Awesome! I'm ready to learn! Perfect! But before we start, I'll place the resources images in the images folder of the project! Shall we begin? No, no, no! Alright, it's done. I'll also make a backup of my project. Excellent! That's a wise precaution. Now, let's get started. To kick off our epic quest, we've created some seriously cool stuff. Feast your eyes on this enchanting code. Hey, what's this inventory icon list? It looks like something an Elven Woodsman would carry. Why do these image names look like secret codes? What the fuck that even mean, man? Oh, you're sharp. This inventory icon list holds the names of image files that will represent our precious items in the inventory. And those file names? Well, think of them as secret aliases for our treasures. To give our items some pizzazz, we've created two dictionaries. One for names and another for descriptions. So each image has a name and a description. But how do these details spice up our adventure? Uh, excellent question. These divots allow us to display the name and description of each item when we bundle them in our inventory.
created some variables to keep an eye on our inventory. These variables look rather suspicious. What are they for? And why open underscore inventory? Is that a secret code name for Orc Piggy Bank? Haha! Uh -huh. You've got a knack for this. These variables help us keep track of which I'm more fondling in the inventory, and whether it's in a good mood. Open inventory tells us if the inventory is open or taking a nap. To ensure our inventory is always up for adventure, we're using persistent data. What's hiding in this data? Why are some items labeled as false? Are they telling fibs? No, no. They're not liars. The persistent dot choice list keeps track of the items the player has collected. As for the persistent dot using underscore item dictionary, it tells us whether an item is up for an adventure, true, or just wants to snooze, false, Let's move on to creating the button that will unveil our precious inventory. Ah, uh, this is the button that triggers the inventory magic, isn't it? What happens when we press this button? When you press it, our inventory screen magically appears. Press the button again. So, modal true means the inventory screen is the star of the show, right? And why grid 3-2? Is that a secret plan to tame dragons? Close, but not quite. Modal true means the inventory screen takes the spotlight and blocks out any other distractions while it's open. And grid 3 sets up a grid to neatly organize our treasures into three rows and two columns.
This loop helps us display our inventory icons in tiny little boxes. Each item is snugly tucked into its own little home. Just like a home. Oh. And what happens when we click on an icon? Does a unicorn pop out? Uh huh. If only. No. Actually, when you click on an item, its magical details appear here, and you can decide if you want to play with it or put it back in its box. When you click on an item, its secrets are revealed right here. You can see the name and description of the item right here. It's like magic. And can we use it from the screen? Absolutely. If the item can be used, you'll see a use button here. You can click on it to play with the item. If not, you'll get a message saying you can't have fun with it right now. Finally, we have a button to close the inventory when we're done playing. That takes us back to the backpack button, right? Absolutely not.
Now we know how to show and play with our inventory. It's magical. We're ready to embark on an adventure in our very own game now. We're all set to use the inventory items. In this part of the code, we check if an item is up for an adventure. And if it is, we let the players have some fun. When an item is unlocked, we say it's up for an adventure. Otherwise, it's either already used or taking a nap. This allows us to handle item interactions in a special way in the game. Special friends.
We've now completed our grand inventory adventure. Congratulations, adventurers! You've mastered the art of creating an interactive inventory in Renpy. That was amazing! We're ready to create our own game with an interactive inventory. Thank you, Mia, for this thrilling adventure through Renpy Code. It was a pleasure, adventurers! I'm sure you'll create an epic game. And always remember to have fun along the way. Thank you for completing this quest. Feel free to join me on my YouTube channel to not miss out on other exciting quests. The source code for each new tutorial is now available on the Achoo platform if you want to learn more about how each tutorial works. See you soon, and bye!